Because many digital SLRs now shoot video, Aperture 3 allows you to import, organize, and view HD video and audio clips along with your photos. When importing, they'll appear in the import window just like your photos do. Video clips are marked with a special video badge, and audio clips have a speaker icon. Double-click the clips to preview them right in the import window. Double-click again to return to the import browser. Once you've imported videos, you can play them back in the viewer. Playback controls appear when you move your mouse over the viewer. You can also play your clips in full screen mode. In the metadata panel, you'll see the duration, size, and frame rate for the video clip. And you can add metadata exactly the same way as you would for photos. Use the action menu to set a poster frame for each clip. To edit the length of the clip, choose Trim from the action menu. Then drag either end of the yellow selection frame to set the start and end frames. When you have the clip set to the length you want, click Trim. You can also turn a single frame from a video clip into a new JPEG image. Just choose New JPEG from Frame from the Action menu. A new JPEG appears in your Aperture library, and you can enhance and adjust it using Aperture's standard adjustment tools. You can use your video and audio clips in an Aperture slideshow. Just drag and drop the video where you want it to play. Audio clips can be dragged into a slideshow as part of a multi-layered soundtrack. A lot of people are surprised at how I act on the tennis court as opposed to off the tennis court. Uh, off the tennis court, I'm a pretty mild person. So Aperture's robust multimedia support lets you enhance your projects with any combination of video, audio, and still images.